In a right triangle, the acute angles have the relationship sine of 2x plus 4 equal to cosine of 46. What is the value of x? Well, to answer this question, this question turns up all the time on the regions. So if you're looking at this video, you're probably uh, not clear on the principle in which they are really asking for. So suppose I have a right triangle here, ABC, right? So then the opposite sides will have lowercase a, lowercase b, and lowercase c. Now, I can express sine of angle a, right, using the lowercase letters there. So the side that's opposite of lowercase a, uh, of um, capital A, is going to be lowercase a over the hypotenuse is c. Let's try to express cosine of a different angle. Let's do cosine of b, and let's see what happens then. Cosine of angle b, the side adjacent to angle b is lowercase a, and the hypotenuse is once again c. So you can see here that sine a and cosine b are actually equivalent. Sine of capital A is equal to cosine of capital B. Now, under what circumstances are these two things going to be the same? A and B do not have to be equivalent, right? So the circumstances is this. Angle A plus angle B plus 90 should equal to 180, right? That's a sum of all three angles. Or in other words, A and B together are supposed to be complementary. Because if I subtract both sides by 90, I end up with A plus B is equal to 90. So this identity sine a equal to cosine b will hold true only if angle a and angle b add up to 90. So this is the principle that this question is really asking for. And this is what we refer to as a, an identity. And in particular, this is a co-trig identity. Why is it called a co-trig identity? Because we're dealing with sine and cosine. The co-trig function is a complementary function, which is why we have this identity here. So I have sine of 2x plus 4, which is equal to cosine of 46. Whoops. So therefore, the angle, the arguments inside of the sine and cosine should be complementary. 2x plus 4 plus 46, they should equal to 90. Let's combine like terms. I get 2x plus 50 is equal to 90. Subtract both sides by 50. I get 2x is equal to 40. Divide by 2, x is equal to 20. The question is, what is the value of x? That's 20, so that's option 1.